Mm -hmm. Rolling out. It's a okay. pink charger too. I'm out here. Okay, Mike. Do you see your name? In yeah, it's Mike Melody. Rolling out. My name may begin, sir. So first of all, really, really happy to see you guys working together. What was it like, just kind of bringing this abstract album into the filmmaking mm -hmm. format? Yeah, I like that you refer to it that way because yeah. it really was like uh, Boots' the soundtrack accompanies the film. But also, I was listening to his. You were the whole time. His right? album the whole time, yeah. and it's sort That's of like cool. a guidance thing through this whole thing, getting into the mind of him and what he wanted to uh, bring across. And so, yeah, it was crazy, and it really is a musical feeling thing after yep. it's all said mm -hmm. and done. Yep. The beats, the rhythm, everything in this, it feels very closely tied to music, Boots' music. So. For sure. Yeah, I think it was a tremendous like uh, uh, inspiration moving forward. And me, uh, having worked in music myself and, and doing music myself, I just felt like that might be underneath the the the, 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 the spirit of this whole thing. It's, right. just it's like the pulse of it, right? Yeah. 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 For sure. I mean, a, a, another part of the film I felt like obviously was the backdrop, Oakland. I mean, it was truly a, a, a heavy part of the film when it mm -hmm. comes to the fabric and the backdrop of understanding the problems that people are going through. What are your thoughts about just the city putting on the map as it relates to this relevant issue um, and I know you have a lot of ties to Oakland so like yeah. particularly like what are your thoughts about just being able to show Oakland this light well you know it's it's so exciting to make a film because because very often you'll actually make films and it's where the film is set is not actually where you shoot right yeah. and I think there's something really important that g gets woven into the fabric into the DNA of a project when you get to shoot where 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 it's set and Boots is really like the mayor of Oakland he yeah. means so much to the folks there so there was a tremendous amount of goodwill towards our project while we were there and um, so many uh, artists came out and contributed to the film whether it be the pieces that D Detroit makes in the movie right. or whether it be their time and you know all of the women that play the left eye faction that you see Detroit with the, the girls that she rocks with that makes art with all of those women were artists mm. and um, so it really added a lot and I think Oakland is going through an interesting transition that you see up in the bay with um, you know so many people that that really are integral to the piece but being driven out by gentrification right. and um, and you see that when the bottom line is not about community but about money and I think that that's something that this film really speaks to for sure um, in, a, in a really essential way for sure I mean I love that you say that because it is about money essentially this film and capitalism and and kind of overcoming the the challenges of just what we believe we're supposed to be so when it comes to like you for example you put on this this white voice you know to get further ahead the idea of having to do that is pretty deep, but it's also very real. Has there ever been a time in your life when you guys felt like, you know, I, I got to pretend to be something that I'm not in order to get ahead? Yeah, I think, yeah, particularly for me coming from like a poor part of America where, you know, people that are raised in these areas tend to speak a certain way, move a certain way, do things a certain way. Uh, that's not generally accepted in the work world. Uh, right. So when you go and uh, try to secure some type of work, generally, especially if you want to make money or do something that's more than just flipping burgers, but sometimes even flipping burgers, you have to amend that and change that a little bit in order to fit into the larger school, which is funny because, in essence, that is American, too. It's very American, and it's very... Uh, at the root of American America and what it really uh, is and comes from. For but sure, because we're a land of immigrants and all those folks came here having mm -hmm. to try to assimilate. And Absolutely. what are we assimilating to since we all come from elsewhere? Right. Like, yeah, there's just there's just some vested interest in uh, uh, there's an idea of what's right, the correct way to speak, which right. is crazy here, but there's a such thing <laughs> that exists there. And so for people that don't live in areas that maybe have access to standard education and things of this nature, we speak a little bit different, which is fine. It doesn't mean that you're stupid or less intelligent, right. but oftentimes you're viewed that way. So in order to not be viewed that way, you got to assume the white voice. You have to <laughs> speak like this and with it, blah, 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 blah. And it's a game that we have to play. And it really does have deep implications because it goes from people not being seen as smart as to people not being seen as people. Yeah. So, you know, there's... The, and, and, and so hopefully uh, that, that people realize that that's something also to pick up in this movie, pick up on, is Absolutely. that this also has uh, other implications. So, Love that. Love that. Great point. I love this film. Look forward to so much more of your work. You guys are rising stars. We look forward to more. Thank you Thank so you much. Thank you again. Thank you. Take care. Thanks, Mike. Thank you again.